Welcome back to RGR Football. I'm Ryan. This is me going rogue on the Kansas City Chiefs and the NFL at large. Today, we're going to take a look at the Chiefs linebacker, Willie Gay Jr. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and sub and hit the bell notification now so you know what's coming next. We put out all kinds of stuff. Dan had film of the offense. I'll have some more for you of a particular Ferrari play here coming up pretty soon as well. We do all kinds of game planning and breakdowns and tailgating and Q&As. Everything is here. So if you are new to the channel, get on board because it's going to be a fun run to the postseason. Today, we have to get to the point where we can break down Willie Gay Jr. because it's been a long time coming and it is finally here. The progression has been to the point that Willie Gay Jr. needs to be playing a lot more snaps and not just in the base defense. We're going to see a number of plays here, and they all have a common theme. Actually, two now that I think about it. It's about Willie's athleticism, about his ability to play aggressive football within those athletic traits that allow him to make plays. The second one is the fact that there happens to be all kinds of penalties on the plays that Willie did make against the Carolina Panthers and their shifty tailback, Christian McCaffrey. Uh, A lot of plays, if you just look at the box score, it doesn't look like Willie did much. And so that's that's the, uh, the deception in just looking at stats. They're a piece of the puzzle, not the whole thing, because a lot of good things happened that Willie didn't actually get credit for because the plays didn't count. And this is one of them. This is early in the game. We're going to go in chronological order for this game for Willie. And I want to give you the setup here. Here is the base defense with Damian Wilson, Anthony Hitchens, and here's our guy, Willie Gay. They're looking at uh, a three wide receiver set with a fullback rather than a tight end and Christian McCaffrey, their big ace. And this is what happens when you try to do things that are difficult athletically, uh, but allow you to play within yourself. We'll get this started and take a look as Willie's lining up here. He's the weak side backer. You see as they motion into the H, that walks Damian Wilson up. And effectively now, they are a five-man front because Damian's responsibilities are going to be over here. And it's he and Hitch. They are keying in on these particular players in the backfield. As they roll forward, he dives down, makes the realization He comes inside and dives back out, tracking Christian McCaffrey the whole way. And that's what he makes the play with. This actually goes for a little bit behind the line of scrimmage. But again, this play was called off because of penalty. But this was a play that set the tempo early, that allowed him to contribute to his teammates. And the way they were getting off the ball early to begin the game. You saw the tunnel pass. You know, got the start out here. And as they run, Damian walks up. We're going to pause it right there because he's now in a rush or an edge setting role, again, leaving two linebackers at the back of the defense. And so what happens? Willie is keying in here, as is Hitch. And as they move forward, you see them both take off in similar directions. Now, Willie probably should have been outside already because that's the fullback going to his outside. And as the fullback takes off, you see him plant his foot and change direction. He's now waiting on McCaffrey as he comes off of that naughty hit, and Willie's there to clean it up and spin him for a loss. Great play by Derek Naughty as well, but this is what Willie Gay does, and he needs to do it more. Here we have a second play, again, brought back by penalty, but another nice play on Willie's part, and we're going to set it up much the same. Dan Sorensen and Tyron are out here at the back, and you have the three-linebacker base set. As we move forward, a little bit of confusion here by Chavarius Ward, and Dan's walking down here. Tight end comes in motion, becomes the H, and that's what brings Damian Wilson with him. Now, again, this is Damian becoming part of the line and having line responsibilities. As you see this roll forward here, it's Damian playing for the edge, taking McCaffrey on the outbound towards that edge, and he ends up situated here. This is not necessarily a pass rush situation, and it leaves Willie on the backside. As we back that up, you see that these are split responsibilities, and as the fullback goes outbound, looking to get into the flat to take a pass, Willie takes off with him, and watch Willie right here as the play rolls forward. Bam, one step forward, and he's turned off to his side. He's tracking down, and he allows himself to accelerate. He makes a really nice play in the open field, catching up 
with what is admittedly a fullback, but that's a tough play to get all the way to the sideline. That's what they talk about when we talk about uh, sideline to sideline speed. Here from the other angle, you can see that he's keying in on the fullback. And as he takes his first step with the cross, he comes back out and takes off, leaves the frame here for a second. That tells you just how fast he's moving because he does leave the frame. And as the ball's connected, he's within two yards, makes solid contact, wraps up, takes the man to the ground. Solid play. Here we have another play set up with the base defense yet again uh, with Willie over here, Hitch, and Damian Wilson. And as we roll forward, very similar, except that they don't do any shift. They have double tight over here. So you have one, two, three, four, five linemen, two tight ends, two wide receivers, and the single back. And that's what both these linebackers are keying in on. Now you can see that hesitation just before the snap. Nothing's happened yet, and Anthony's going. That's pretty good timing because he's leaning into it from his stutter and takes off running just as the ball gets off. Now that's a blitz. That's his gap that he is attacking. And the nice thing about this play is you get several good plays from multiple people. Willie's there to clean it up, but he's not the only person doing his job. Hitch is one of them. So is Derek Noddy. You see Breland grabbing his knee here a little bit. That's a bit of a concern. But this takes a team, and that's really what the Will linebacker is for, to let other players make plays, beat blocks, drive, and he is there to clean it up. That really is the role of the linebacker in this base defense in particular. Again, Derek Naughty here in the A-gap. Chris Jones over here in the far B, and that is where the first pressure comes from. You're going to see Hitch come straight downhill and almost get in there. Willie will be doing the same thing. As we roll it forward, Hitch is off and running in what has been a split now. You have a double team here, and you have the center taking Naughty. so there's an open corridor, at least for now. As Hitchens tries to come downfield, he actually gets lassoed right here. And by the way, this clothesline, that is definitely a penalty. This is the one play that didn't actually get called a penalty, however. Uh, something to consider. And it looks like the play is actually supposed to go the way that uh, he's trying to go against the grain with Hitch, and he has to cut it back inside. And there looks to be a sizable gap here for Christian McCaffrey. But Willie's engaged over on this side, and he's about to shuck this player and get in on that tackle. Now, Chris Jones is cleaning it up as well, so we can't give Willie all of the credit, but that's okay. A lot of players have to make plays. And again, watch the takeoff from Hitchens as he gets ready to come downhill right as the ball is snapped. Bam, he's off and running. That draws some of the protection. And over here, it's obscured by the camera, unfortunately. You can see the eye in the sky here. But Willie comes downhill, too. And the thing about Willie is he takes on a block. He delivers a blow. Now, this lineman got him turned. That's a pretty solid block by that lineman to this point. When the cut comes, Willie's engaged, and he sees it, and he's able to duck under and get off that block right here where he is the only guy without Matthew, what, 15, uh, 13 yards deep that can come in and make that play. So he shucks and dives for his feet. Chris Jones, Derek Nottier are getting off their blocks as well. It's a nice team play. But this is what Willie Gay needs to do and is capable of doing. Aggressive against the run. I actually like the way he attacked the block better than most of the other linebackers. For this last play, we start at the end of the wide angle because we're just going to take a look at this head on. And you can see the result is flags flying. Dan Sorensen not feeling too good about it either. And nor should he. This caused a problem in the play and this is a solid play this is again straight five-man line double tight to this side Damien has already walked down onto the edge you have fullback and McCaffrey and those are the assignments for Willie Gay on the fullback and Hitch on to McCaffrey now a lot of people want to complain about the way that Anthony Hitchens plays but experience plays a factor and why he's on the field is really displayed right here. So I want to show him and Christian really carefully. I'm going to slow this down a bit and watch the unison of their steps. This is a counter. And right now you see that Christian McCaffrey's planning on it. He's come off to the right and he's planning on his outside foot to drive back to the left. And Anthony Hitchens has done the same thing. He's moved to his left and is now planning on that left foot to drive back to the right to meet Christian McCaffrey. That is experience, and you can see here, this is what's unique, is that it's not a fullback making a block and just the tailback doing the counter. It's both counters, 
and it lets that set up the play right here. Hitchens, McCaffrey moving together, and they find that plant. As he comes off, Hitchens is driving down, but gets tied up with this tight end block. The fullback is also coming, and Willie Gay's back here. He's fighting around to come clean it up again as the backside backer. Now, the fullback goes outside rather than turning it up and trying to seal the inside. And this looks like something that you would think maybe Christian McCaffrey has the advantage here to cut through this lane with two blockers in front of him. But Willie Gay has the athleticism to come downhill and make that backside play, catching up. He had to dive for it, but that makes plenty of sense. This is, again, him reading and using his athleticism. He's keyed in here on this fullback. Now watch Willie and the fullback as they come in unison. That's a counter step. Willie's flowing with it as he should. Now, Willie's still leading to the outside as the fullback's cutting back to run his counter, but now you see that power step, and Willie is in unison again. He's caught up just in the blink of that half a step and is coming back downhill. Now, because of all the blocks in the middle of the line, Willie can't attack straight down the line when he knows that the counter has come through and the back and the fullback are both going the opposite direction. But what he's going to have to do is belly around to come backside. And that's enough protection that he's safe doing that. But now he's cleared the blocks and sees that the fullback is not looking at him. He can zero in and use his speed to catch up to McCaffrey, even though McCaffrey's a very speedy back. He's able to do that. Go get him at the waist, brag him down, not take any risks at trying to deliver a big hit or anything like that. Get your arms around him and get him onto the ground. This is a really nice play from Willie Gay as the backside backer that has to see it and then attack it. That's the key, and that's what Willie does well. Now, if you like this one, make sure you like and sub and click the bell notification so you see plenty more. We're always doing something. I thank you for your time and watching this one, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. These videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.